Welcome back to a brand new PTCG Live video. Today I'll be showcasing Maridon EX one year later. It was originally released in Scarlet and Violet base set. And with that being said, let's get into the deck list. Let's see how we'll be playing Maridon EX today. So we will be running three copies of Maridon. It does have a really good ability with Tandem Unit. You do get to search your deck out for two Lightning Pokemon and put them right onto your bench. And Photon Blaster is really good. We will be combining it with the Zapdos from Pokemon Go. And we will be able to do 230 damage, taking out some key knockouts like Hentai V and Roaring Moon EX. We also will have Iron Hands EX here. This is here only for the single prize matchup because with Ampu very much, if we do manage to knock something out with this attack, we do get to take a extra prize card. So this will be a great uh, Pokemon to use against something like Lost Box or Gardevoir or even the Charizard EX to take a knockout on one of the Charmanders or Pidgeys. We also will use a 1-1 line of Mareep and Flaffy. Unfortunately, this card is rotating out, but it does have the Dynamotor ability where you do get to get a Lightning Energy out of your discard and put it to onto one of your benched uh, Pokemon. We also do have Raichu V here. It is mostly for the last two prizes, in my opinion. If we do need to take a big knockout, we could with Raichu V. And it could be easily also built up with the Dynamotor ability, and plus you just attach energy for that turn. We also do have one copy of Raikou V, also just a very good all-around attacker. If the benches are full, you can do potentially up to 220 damage, plus Fleet Footed does allow you to draw a card if it is in the active. We also do have the uh, Zapdos from Pogo. We do get an extra 10 damage on our basic Pokemon if we have this in play. So Maridon will be able to do 230 instead of 220. We do have the Mew EX here, a very good staple recently from the Scarlet and Violet 151 set. Has a really good ability, a great attack, and a free retreat cost. So it is a ideal pivot Pokemon to always be putting into the active if you're not sure what to put in the active spot. We do have one copy of Spirit Tomb. It is just there for the Mew VMAX matchup and one copy of Squawk Ability. If we do get a bad starting hand, we could just discard it and draw six new cards. Moving on to the trainer cards, we do run two copies of Battle VIP Pass. This is also another card that will be rotating out, unfortunately. We do have four copies of Electric Generator. We have two copies of Escape Rope. Also, Escape Rope will be rotating out in a couple of weeks as well. We do have two copies of Nest Ball, two copies of Switch, and three copies of Beach Court for our Stadium card. Our one energy retreat Pokemon will be able to treat, retreat for free with Beach Court. We do have two copies of Boss's Orders, four copies of Peony, Unfortunately, this card will be also rotating out in a few weeks as well. I feel like Maridon will not be very playable after all of this um, rotation in a few weeks. And lastly, for the tool cards, we do have one copy of Bravery Charm just to add an extra 50 HP to one of our Pokemon, as well as four Seal Stone, which will count as our V-Star power. We can search our deck out for any card in our deck and put it into our hand. And lastly, we do have 18 basic lightning energies. So those are all the cards I really wanted to point out in this deck. And let us see how it'll do in the matches. Let's go for Tails. Nice, we won the coin toss. Let's go second here. Wow, this is just a really bad starting hand. See, it looks like there's gonna be Lost Box, probably Giratina V Star, or a mix of. Attackers like Roaring Moon, Dragonite. Uh, it looks like they got a pretty bad hand. They're attaching a Psychic Energy to their Sableye. Let's get Maridon. This 
and I'm going to get my reap. Let's get Raikou. Oh no, we'll save the bravery charm. They do get a comfy down. They retreat down. Okay, and they're gonna start doing their flower select. They also could use Colorless Experiment if they have it. Which, I don't know. There could be a chance they don't have it because they give up a boss into the lost zone. They switch out. Okay. Bunch of mana fee. Okay. And they just pass. And they didn't get such a great hand over there. It's used hand immune for iron hands. Then let's Ultra Ball for Flaffy. I feel like we also do have just such a slow start here. Let's use Dynamotor on Iron Hands. Let's pass. I'm kind of hoping they actually do use Rope, but let's see. They put a flittle into the Lost Sun and they have Chorus Experiment now, okay. And they give up Cram and the Psychic Energy in the Lost Sun. They Jet Energy. See, when you want them to use Escape Rope, they, they just simply don't use it. Thing. They put a battle pass into Lawson, they put down Cram. Um, I'm guessing they're gonna go for damage now. Yeah. Let's retreat down into Raikou. Let's use Fleet Footed. the dynamotor on iron hands so now I got cram I really do want to use iron hands as soon as possible but we're not boss don't need boss definitely don't need boss so they go into comfy well you got six cards in the lost zone you give up a grass energy they got seven they put that in Beach Court. Well, I guess Boss could work to knock out Sableye and get two prizes or boss something up. Are we, are we gonna even boss something up right now with Raikou? Because we are doing 230, I believe, with Zapdos there. They switch out into... Uh, wow, they just switch out into Giratina V for us. I'm assuming they're gonna go for the Abyss Seeking. Yep, yes they do. Use the Dynamotor for Iron Hands. Let's use Fleet Footed. Yeah, we'll just put the Charm on Iron Hands. There's not even any point of using Boss. We just knock out Giratina right now. Let's 
Comfy, I'm gonna get beach coins and uh, lightning energy. Link onto Comfy. I got 10 cards in a while, so. Play Heavy Ball. They don't find anything. So it looks like maybe they don't run Greninja. And they give us another Giratina for the bench. So we can easily just KO that. The boss. And yeah, this doesn't look like the most conventional Lost Box deck. They're running Experience Cheer and Espatra, which is not the most commonly used. They go for the Lost Mine here. I'm guessing they're going to put damage counters on Lumine on the force. Get two prizes like that. I still think it's probably a good idea just to boss up the Giratina and not let it set up instead of knocking out Sable either. Because they're not even touching the Iron Hands. Squawkabilly. Put an Energy on Maridon. And let's get another Pokemon for our bench. Yeah, let's get my ride on. Let's boss up Giratina. Let's see what we get. Mew and Ultra Ball. That's where the Mew is hiding. Put out Comfy. They bench Flittle. Mm. I really don't think they can really win this at this point. Because even if they use Sableye, they can knock out Flaffy for 30. And then they have 90 damage left that they can distribute. Gate for Flittle. I'm not sure why they'd do that when. I guess I'm gonna go for the Clutch Paralysis here. Which we are ready for. We do have Switch Card even. And they do get it. They do get the Clutch Paralysis. That's funny. If we didn't have the Switch Card, we'd be completely boned. Let's use the Fleet Footed. Let's switch cart into Iron Hands. Yeah, let's take the last prize. And... Beach Court. Okay. Hopefully we go second here. Nice, we do go second, so they'll be going first here. Looks like this is a mayor match, basically. Looks like they're running a Maridon deck of some kind. Get vacuum. For some reason they put Lumini on V on the bench. Attach energy to Raikou. Do Squawk and Seize their three lightning energies. So. Like Battle Pass. 
I'm assuming they're gonna get iron hands or something. Well, maybe not iron hands. What about us? So we got iron hands and Raichu. I have another bravery charm. Okay. For a seal stone attached to their EX. Completely makes sense. I feel like we do want to squawk this hand away. Let's get Mew also. Just hand him in. Then. Get Marie. She's vacuum. Squawk and seize. Nice two energies. Put our beach core. Let's retreat into Raikou. Attach energy to Moridon. She's fleet footed. Nice, another generator. And two energies at that. I'll just go for the knockout. First two prizes, boss and switch. Those are pretty good cards to have prize. Especially the boss. See, they go into their iron hands. Put that Mew EX. I still have no clue why they put the Lumineon V onto the bench. Really doesn't make any sense. They get two generators. So it looks like they know how to use this deck. I just don't know why they put the Lumineon on. They use... The generator, of course. Let's see how many energies they get off. They get two energies. So they can potentially get another two energies. And then just switch out. And they can knock us out with Raichu V even. Yeah, they get four energies. They get two and two. They restart. So what they need here is a switch part. Or a switch. Or a rope. Either or. And they didn't even use any switching items, so there's a good chance they could have found it. So they attach, and they just pass. Wow. She's so fleet footed. Yeah, they're just kind of too easy, honestly. Let's Ultra Ball. The stuff we don't need. Get a Flaffy. Let's just knock out Iron Hands. 2.30. We get Peony and Maridon. They go into the Raichu. See, they're gonna nest ball for the pogo zappos. They use peony, so it looked like they had rope. I don't know. They got Iona and Generator. So that's kind of gonna mess us up. If they use Iono, we do lose the far seal stone, unfortunately, and the boss.
Oh wow, they don't even I own know us. Wow. <laughs> um, no, that's not bad. And they go for the dynamic spark. They need to discard four energies only to knock out. Let's go into Maridon. Let's just Boster Mew. And those are the two prizes left. Ultra Ball and Lightning Energy. And we do go first, unfortunately, which we really don't want to go first for this deck. Let's see. Let's squawk out in front. Looks like it's going to be Roaring Moon. Get Mulligan card. Yeah, it's wrong though. Uh, I guess let's get Reap. Yeah, Flaffy's in the deck. Let's get Raikou. Do we want the Zampos? Nah, we could just get it with Marine on next turn. So let's get the... No, I said let's get the Mew EX. Choose Generator. Put on Marine on. Yeah, let's Ultra Ball. We'll just get the Zap Boost now. Go for the Squawk and Seize. Mm, then maybe just save the Bravery Charm. We'll just pass. And I won't put out the Stadium either. I don't need to retreat out. They get Greninja. They get their own Squack ability. They battle pass. They got a pretty decent hand. They get a Moltres and another Moon. They put down Pokestop. But they got a pretty good starting hand. They even got Earth and Vessel. And they are running Water Support as well for the Greninja. They Ultra Ball, their last two cards for a Mew. So they're probably going to use Restart first for Squawking. Yeah, they do. They use Trekking Shoes. Pass up on the Battle Pass. The Dark Patch. Onto the Roaring Moon. So the big question with Roaring Moon is like, getting that first attack on your first turn. I feel like that makes or breaks Roaring Moon EX. Like if you're not able to get that attack, the three energies and start knocking stuff out right away. That good. Okay, they use Pokestop. They do have energy switch for this deck. No capsules, I didn't see any capsules here yet. So they probably don't run capsules. They are going Dark Patch on the other Roaring Moon. The Energy Switch 
the active going to the new energy switch again. The heavy ball. I'm assuming they still need to attach for the turn. The ultra ball. I'm assuming just. I guess you just want to burn the cards, get rid of them. Ooh, that's pretty bad. If you can't, they didn't get a chance to even attack. So I'm gonna put out Beach Court. I'm gonna go right into Maridon. I'm gonna put the Bravery Charm on it. Attach energy to Raikou. I'm gonna save Vacuum for when we need it. Just in case they have a capsule. First two prizes, Raichu and Lightning. Well, they pretty much wasted those energy switches. Whatever I mean, that's what they do. Wow, they still happen to have a third energy switch. Pretty insane. I don't see Sada though. They boss us. Probably from a reef, I would say, or Zapdos. Restart. Use concealed cards. A dark patch. So I don't know. I don't see how they can win this. Like, I'm gonna switch our prime into Mew. Yeah. Okay. Interestingly enough, they have three Roaring Moons already in the discard. The one they have on the bench is, yeah, as you can see. You know. Nice, we went in. So let's go second. This is a pretty decent starting hand. I'm thinking putting Raikou in front just so we get the fleet footed in. got squawk in front so this could be roaring moon it could be a lot of different stuff probably roaring moon i'd say but that's my bet yep there it is it almost kind of feels like squawk i believe it's like tapered off a little bit in popularity They get their second battle pass. So they kind of are in a bad position going first. Roaring Moon definitely doesn't want to go first. They Ultra Ball. Probably for Greninja, I'd say. And it looks like they didn't find anything with Ultra Ball. A dark Patch. The energy switch to the other Roaring Moon? Yeah, they probably just did that to draw more cards. My like Earthen Vessel. Sat away for two energies. I wonder if they have capsules or not. Because I feel like that is somewhat of a game changer. If they are using capsules, we only have one vacuum for this deck. Okay, they squawk and seize. And looks like they're using emergency jelly actually. And capsules. Okay, so they got but best of both worlds. I 
Let's see if, if Flaffy is in the deck. Yes, it is. So I'm kind of tempted to get the Iron Hands here. And Zapdos. Mm. Guess that's Nest Ball for the Mew. Uh, beach court. Let's use restart for three cards. Interesting. We got Peony. Let's use Fleet Footed. Ultra Ball. Yeah, let's just use Peony here. We get two, two generators. Wow, not on that one. Let's retreat out into Iron Hands. Let's take three prizes here. Take the bottom three. Three energies. That makes sense. They go into their pivot. Bench a third Roaring Moon for Ninja. Three cards left in her hand. Use a Dire Flame Wing. Something tells me they probably do have more energy switch. They use Pokemon Catcher. Oh, does fail. I'm assuming they probably would have gusted up Zapdos from Pogo. Put that Pokestop. Wow, that's a pretty bad Pokestop. They lost a Capsule and two other cards. I think that was a Sada and Far Seal Stone, which they probably could have used a Far Seal Stone. Let's see, they go into Roaring Moon. With the cat so they pass. That's kind of bad. I didn't get a single attack. Mm. Let's attach to Maridon. And let's Ultra Ball for Flaffy here. Get the energy onto. Let's put on Raikou. Let's restart. Mm. Kind of tempted to actually boss up their Greninja here. Take two more prizes for that. Two on four. Oh, dead boss and a switch card. But I feel like there's almost no way they can actually even win this at this point. They just did not get an attacker up fast enough. I'm assuming they're going to go into Mew, of course. That's their pivot.
Yeah, they're probably gonna just concede pretty soon. Yeah, they go into the, the emergency jelly roaring moon. Pretty sure they're gonna concede. They just did not have a good start. Especially if they went first. Like, even if they did knock out Iron Hands, we have Raifu V ready with a boss in hand. So we could boss up the Mew EX, take easy knockout. And we got Flaffy to get the energy back. So. Yeah, they just pass. It's just Flaffy for the last energy and switch card out. There we go. Last prize is a switch card. Well, those are all of the matches. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.